folks. Thank you for muting yourselves, except not you, Jill. We don't want you to mute yourself. Um, and thank you for using the chat. If you have questions during our program today, uh, feel free to use the chat function. And Jill, I'll watch that. You don't have to pay attention until it's time for you to answer some questions, okay? Um, and then when Jill's finished presenting, if you want to unmute yourself and ask your own question, you're certainly welcome to do that. We are recording. So this uh, webinar will be available online um, as soon as possible, probably within a short time after it's over today, um, so that you can go back and watch it again and tell your friends and all of that. Um, so I think those are all of the announcements and housekeeping rules for now. So I want to tell you about our guest presenter for today. We have with us Jill Von Pange, uh, who is a licensed clinical social worker and a program director at Turning Point. And uh, Jill is a, a social worker with 28 years of experience, including medical social work in adult health care and pediatric hematology and oncology at Children's Mercy Hospital. So we can tell that Jill um, is a great resource for all kinds of folks in the Kansas City area. Um, and at Turning Point, she uh, and the other program uh, staff come up with great programming to support participants. And I won't say more than that because Jill is going to tell you more about Turning Point. Uh, so I will not steal her thunder, uh, except to say I have participated in some great Turning Point programs over the years. Um, and what a great resource we are so lucky to have. Uh, so with that, I will let Jill tell us the rest of the details. Um, and thank you, Jill, for being here. I'm glad we'll get to hear you and not have to read your list. All yours to you. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to share my screen. Okay. <laughs> we will see how I successful I am at this. Uh, share screen. You guys are seeing, are you seeing it? It's not how it's, I want you to, it's yeah. not how I want you to see it, but it's okay. If you go to the top of your screen, right above where it says design, and there's a little box with a triangle in it. Um, yep. Okay. Touch that. And that should take it to your presenter view. Oh, yep. oh there you go. Oops. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hi. Oh, thank you. I learned something today. I love that. So thank you all for being on here. So I assume that the audience is either someone maybe with um, impacted by dementia themselves or have a loved one who is, and so you may be a caregiver. So, um, or you're a professional and you're supporting people professionally um, that are impacted by um, dementia. So thank you for being on here. Um, I see a couple of faces I know, so I'm, it's, it's always nice when you see those faces in the audience. Um, turning point, as you can see on this slide, um, we offer classes, presentations, support groups, and programs to empower and inspire people impacted by serious and or chronic physical illnesses. And we not only support the person with the illness, but we support their supporters. So what that looks like would be, say you are a child and you have an adult parent um, who has a serious or chronic physical illness, you too can come to Turning Point and receive the, the programming that we have. Um, I always like to tell people it's important to know that the person with the illness doesn't ever have to come to Turning Point, doesn't have to do anything with Turning Point. Um, if you are a supporter and you are needing um, something that we have to offer, then you are eligible to come to our classes. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to speed through here. Um, the next slide, I, it's it's small, but it kind of shows our history, which I always kind of like to know, like, how did Turning Point start or how did this organization get its foundation? Um, because I think it's always helpful to understand that. And then it really validates and supports our mission. Um, we were started in 2001 by our executive director and her best friend. Um, we were a nonprofit in 2001, and we still are today. Um, if you're wondering how we're connected with the University of Kansas Health System, is they asked us to join them in 2012. Um, it wasn't probably a simple process, but to simplify it, they were looking for um, cancer support. They were looking to become a National Cancer Institute designated um, institution, which now they have the highest distinction. 
And in 2012, they said, hey, Turning Point, you've got a lot of programs and classes that the NCI wants us to have to support our patients with cancer. So can we kind of join forces? And we said, yes, it wasn't that easy, of course. But anyway, that's why we are a part of the University of Kansas Health System. Let's see, next slide. What do we offer? So we offer, I counted it up yesterday, we offer over 90 different offerings every two months. So in March and April, we have over 90 different offerings. I think it's about over 95 different offerings. I call them offerings because some out of those 95 offerings, approximately 11 of them are series offerings. And you're not just going to be a one-time class. They're going to be like a three-part class. And again, out of those 95 some offerings, about 27 of them are ongoing. And so that's why that's why we say offerings, because if we actually counted up the number of classes, which I could do, but I haven't done, we would have a lot. Um, so what I like to say is I like to point out to people, there's something probably that we have in our programming for anyone or someone, I imagine. Um, if you want to, you can now, or you can maybe once you see this later, but this QR code, if you hover over it with your phone um, and it pops up a little yellow bar, you click on that and that's going to take you to our website. On our website, it's a hospital website. You're going to be connected to maybe our calendar, to our intake, to a little bit of our history and things like that. So I'll, I'll pause there for a minute. I'm gonna to go to the next slide. We have in-person and Zoom classes. I haven't counted up yet for March and April, but I am still saying that about 90% of our programs are on Zoom. Now, some of you might be like, eh, no, I went in-person. We do have in-person classes, but what we found when we had to pivot to Zoom is we were able to reach a lot of people that either can't travel to our location or they live outside of the Kansas City area, or even if you live in Leavenworth to drive down to 8900 State Line Road for a one hour class, that's a pretty big commitment. Now, if you're planning to drive down, take our class, go to Trader Joe's, maybe do a little shopping and dining, then okay. But what we found is that Zoom has been a good model for our participants. So right now we're keeping about 90% approximately of our classes on Zoom, um, but we do have a handful of classes that are in person. Okay, it's telling me I'm too quiet. Oh, I don't know if that's me. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, <laughs> it's probably just my computer. Um, I took this, I, I wanna show this slide because the picture on the left is our space, one of our parts of our space. It still looks like that today. This picture was probably taken 15 years ago. It still looks like that today. It's really unique. It's not very stale, like hospital-y kind of thing. Um, and then the picture on the right, or on my right, I'm not sure how it looks on yours, is the staff that work there. So we have eight staff, um, approximately four full-time, the rest of us are part-time. And then we have approximately 55 facilitators that teach our classes and provide our class content. Some of our staff members do class, teach classes, some don't. Um, oh, before I get to the next slide, because it's a big one, a couple of things I always forget to tell people because I've been doing this for a while. All of our programs are free, no cost, if you're wondering. We also don't bill any insurance, so don't give me your insurance card, don't worry about it. We do not bill insurance and we do not charge a fee. We are supported by grants, foundations and donations. The next slide is small, but this is a sample of our March and April classes and some of our different sections. So in our program calendar, um, at the front of our program calendar, when you see it, it's 11 pages long, first of all, we kind of have like a what's inside. Oh, whoops, because I'm blurred, it won't show you. Anyway, the what's inside is what you're seeing right now. And we have a section on emotional physical support classes, meditation, nutrition, art and creativity. You don't need to be an artist, don't worry. You don't need to be a writer, you can do it. Um, we have a practical issues, a body movement section, programming for kids. So if a child is impacted by their own illness, 
or they are struggling because their parent or grandparent has a serious illness, we have programming and support for the kids. And then we have on page 11 of our program calendar, we have support groups that are either through the health system or through us at Turning Point. Um, so as you can see on this page and under emotional and physical support, we have some great things like weather in your brain, emotions. We all have those. Um, as you can see, Kelly's teaching a class for us on navigating aging and brain health. Um, one, of the, one of the cancer support groups um, asked for her to present. And so we incorporated it into our programming um, for everyone, but it also falls on the same time as a support group over at the cancer center. And then in meditation, we, as you can see, we have a spring mindfulness retreat coming up on a Saturday. So if you work Monday through Friday, eight to five, you can't zoom in, you can't take a class in person. We have a Saturday class. We also have evening classes as well. On the next slide, it kind of highlights the new, some couple nutrition classes, our art therapy and creativity classes, and our practical issues. And we have someone on this right now that is a presenter for us, David Byer, and his class on science time um, is included in this practical issues area as well. Um, how to join Turning Point. So this, I'm gonna keep up for a little bit while I keep talking because this is our intake form. And if you're wondering, so you take again your, your phone and you use the camera and you hover over and then you click on the yellow box. That's gonna take you to our intake form. Why you say, would I wanna complete the intake form? Well, the intake form gets you our program calendar in the mail every other month. <laughs> Dog. It gets you our program calendar in the mail every other month, and it gets you an email from us once a week. And that once a week email is going to show you what classes are coming up. So the nice thing is, is that like, you may not know what you're doing in a month from now, but when you get that email from us, you may know what you're doing next week. And that really works out well for you because you can plan accordingly. So that's why I recommend that you do the intake, because then if you qualify and you meet criteria, then you're going to get some stuff from us in the mail and you're going to get a once a week email from us. Um, if you need help filling out the intake, just call us and we will help you. As you can see, if you've already pulled it up, it's a really simple intake. Um, it's like name, address, diagnosis, your emergency contact. Um, Super simple. We don't need a doctor's referral. We don't need a letter. We don't need a note. We kind of go on the honor system. If you say you have an autoimmune disease or you have heart disease, then we kind of bank on the fact that you are telling us the truth. <laughs> um, so we don't need any kind of doctor's referral or anything. We do get doctor referrals from the health system, but it's not required. Um, those doctors are just sending us a note asking us to contact someone by phone or email. Um, on here, I listed our program people. So myself, Lizzie Wright, we're the two social workers there at Turning Point. Annie Seal, Child Life Specialist, Children's Director. Um, Jennifer Wiseman, who's our administrative assistant, who is going to be the typically the person you're going to talk to on the phone or by email and handles all our registrations and communications about the classes. Um, I'm going to leave that on there. When you sign up for a class, you're probably wondering, well, how do I know if I'm in the class that comes up? You should get an email that says you are registered. Then closer to the date of the class, if it's a Zoom class, you'll get an email with the Zoom link. We don't like to send that Zoom link right away because as we know, we'll lose it. <laughs> and I say that because that's me. So We'll send it like the night before, the day before, really, because then it's kind of adds as a reminder, but it also is fresh in your email system. And you're like, oh, there's my Zoom link, and you can hop on the Zoom. If you come to us, we're at 8900 State Line Road on the Kansas side. We're kind of like across from Ward Parkway Mall, up and across from Rockhurst High School. Um, our parking is easy. Park in the south parking lot. Come into the doors. 
and we're down the hall on this. When you walk, when you walk in that door, you're on the second floor. So you're right by our suite. Um, we have a resource library there. We have a kitchen. So you can come hang out before a class. You can come hang out after a class, things like that. Let's see. Next slide. Oh, before we end, I need to look at my time. Um, one of the things that we really like to promote at Turning Point is calming down our nervous system. Um, we all breathe, but sometimes we hold our breath and we probably actually hold our breath more than we realize, or we don't breathe as deeply as we, as we realize. Um, we do have some great ongoing meditation classes that are audio. If you're thinking about starting some in class at Turning Point, I recommend starting there. The nice thing is, is that it's an ongoing class. It's by audio. You can be on your phone. You can be on your laptop. You can be on your iPad. You can be in your car. Um, and if you make it this, you know, say next week you signed up for Tuesday ongoing meditation and the next Tuesday you can't make it, that's okay. Um, but I think you'll find that it does help calm and help reset. So I put up this breathing square um, or square breathing um, diagram and I'll be quiet for a minute and we can, you can just do this on your own and just follow the direction. So you can inhale through the nose for four counts, hold for four, breathe out for four and then rest. I hope it gave you guys enough time on that. And then thank you and questions. Sorry about the dogs. Uh, dogs always welcome. Thank you, Jill. Um, so we are super excited. I got a little uh, distracted by the breathing. Thank you. That was a good, a good way to pause. Um, there is um, a question from uh, one of our colleagues, Lindsay, in the chat, Jill, and it says, um, in, is the intake form the best way for, for providers and professionals to receive the program booklet as well? Oh, um, that is one way. And we have made, like, if you'll just make note, if you are a professional, just make note in the comments that you're a professional. If you just want one, like for your office or whatever, do, do that because I think that'd be best. If you want more than one because you're going to hand them out, then just email me directly so that we can get you on our mailing list. Um, but if you just want one for like your own, like to be able to like, you know, refer, refer to, um, then fill out the intake. If you want more than one, email me. And then if you want me to send you a PDF, say that as well in the, in the email. I did just recently send out yesterday um, I send out a big email out to professionals with the PDF of the program calendar, as well as a document with our evening classes um, so that professionals that know that they're working with someone that's working, you know, eight to five, they can hand them the evening offerings. And that way it simplifies um, that for people. Great, Great question. Thanks. Thank you. And then um, David, uh, who is uh, both a turning point teacher and cheerleader um, has put a helpful note in the comments talking about uh, after you sign up for a class, uh, you'll get an email that from Google Forms and it doesn't say turning point, but it is legit. Um, I think David wants to make sure we know that. Um, and I wanna say something about David here um, in just a moment. He doesn't know I'm going to say this, um, but David um, is a regular on the webinars. I think a lot of us probably recognize his face and he is going to be joining us next month. I believe it's on the 20. First, um, to do a weekly webinar presentation. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I'll keep you in suspense. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, it just speaks to the power of community that we have all these great resources in Kansas City and we can all uh, lean on each other for help in sharing those resources. So thank you, David. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you next month. Um, and it looks like both Gail and Lindsay would like for you to go back to the sign up she, uh, slide. Thank you, Jill. Yeah, um, and maybe you can uh, refresh. Some people may have joined later, Jill. If you want to okay. refresh your memories about how to how this works, yeah. So this little QR code is our um, intake form. If you have a phone, you can hover over that QR code, click on the little yellow bar, and that should take you right into um, our intake form. Um, 
If you don't have your phone and you'd prefer to do an intake, um, you can call us and we'll, or you can email me. My email's down here, Javon Fange at KUMC. And I'll email you the link um, and you can do the intake there. That intake again is gonna get you our program calendar in the mail every other month. And then it's gonna get you a once a week email about upcoming classes. And again, the nice thing about that is that, you know, next week, I don't even know what's next week, but you're gonna be like, oh, now I can take that class on biofeedback and I wanna sign up. Um, and if there's room, then you can sign up. So it's, it's, it's nice to have that once a week email. Nice. Outside of that, that's really about it on the communication. Sometimes if we have something like special, you know, like we had an open house, I think we use people's emails to tell them we had an open house, um, that kind of thing. Cool. Okay. Um, Jill, I think, I'm not sure if you mentioned this, um, but even if you did, it's worth repeating. Um, you, Turning Points classes um, also include programs for younger people. Is that right? Correct. Not just adults? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we have actually, um, if you know any, if you know any young adults impacted by cancer, we are doing a young adult cancer programming um, in collaboration with Gilda's Club. It starts in March, and um, it'll be on Zoom, and it will be once a month. We'll have a presenter, and that presenter will be focused on um, the impact of cancer on on young adults. Um, and then for kids, yeah, we've got kids programming. So. Probably, actually, I know March, April, May, June, our program calendar will have our summer camp information. Um, our children's instructor, um, Annie, who's a child specialist, and another child specialist are doing an Olympics theme. They just told me yesterday. And um, so that's exciting. It's always fun to have the kids at Turning Point. And we use that space. We use the parking garage. We use our garden. And um, it's a three-day camp. Yeah, so that'll be coming up. And then we have other programming um, for kids. And then we have some coffee talk for parents and caregivers. And so if you're a grandparent or if you're a parent that's on this right now, um, we've got one March 20th on navigating perfectionism in your inner critic, which is part of our resilience top, one of our resilience topics. And then parenting and guilt in April. Um, so take a look at those. Those are good. Okay. And those are on Zoom. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's uh, something that uh, I think a lot of us on the program today are familiar with, that these chronic illness diagnoses affect not just the person with the diagnosis, but the entire family, uh, including our, our kiddos and our young folks. So it's so nice to know that Turning Point has activities for a range of situations um, and they're educational and entertaining, uplifting, um, and et cetera, et cetera. So um, we're so glad to to hear from you, Jill, today and always about what Turning Point can do. Very proud to be connected with you in the University of Kansas Health System. Thank you so much. One note. Uh, yeah. On the, on the kids stuff, our uh, children's instructor does do one-on-one -on -one consultations with kids and or with parents. I would say that's probably a, that's a bulk of what she is doing because palliative care over at the health system has found her. <laughs> They've always known about her, um, but she does work closely with kids and parents, um, either guiding parents how to communicate to the kids or doing art, music, play, books to help kids understand in their language what's going on with, with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. So that's also available. Um, parent consultations, child consultations. Again, don't charge, things like that. Perfect, very good. Does anybody else have any questions or things you need to know from Jill? Um, if so, speak up or type it in the chat. Um, and Jill, if you're done sharing your screen, I'll ask you to yeah. let me switch over because I wanna put something up on the screen for mm -hmm. everyone to see, thank you. Um, so it's coming in just a moment, just another moment. There we go. We know that Jill was our speaker. Thank you, Jill. Um, oh, I'm not showing the right thing. Hang on. I'll say it out of my mouth and then I'll get it up on the screen. A um, couple weeks ago on uh, February 15th, we were going to be celebrating one day, 1KU, which is our annual day of giving to support um, 
KU, uh, and in particular the ADRC and all of our programs and services. And as you all know, we we postponed that date in light of the situation that happened on February 14th. Um, we have um, resume, We have decided to reschedule one day one KU, and it is coming up on next Wednesday, March 6th. Um, and you will be receiving some emails and some correspondence. We'll have an announcement in our Monday My Alliance newsletter on uh, Monday, March 4th. Uh, March 4th. Now that's going to be a great idea for a theme. Um, so stay tuned um, and be ready to uh, hear about the impact of One Day, One KU. Um, know that everything that comes out of One Day, KU, one, day one KU is for the benefit of our students, our faculty, our staff, and I think most of all our constituents, whether you're a, a patient, uh, a weekly webinar participant, someone who has gone to a LEAP class, uh, someone who has gone to a support group, so on and so forth. One day, one KU is for your benefit. Um, and so um, look forward to hearing some more about that. Too bad they didn't reschedule it for a Thursday. They didn't ask us um, how we felt about that on the weekly webinar, but it is next Wednesday. March 6th, and you'll be hearing some information about how to participate in One Day, One KU um, if you should choose to do that. Uh, so stay tuned. And um, I believe that is it for now, unless anybody has any further questions or comments. I'll tell you next week's topic is um, from a, a very good friend and, and collaborator of mine named Liz Conway Munch. She is a social worker. Uh, and she is going to come to talk to us specifically about uh, caregiving and employee assistance programs. Um, that's a little known benefit, I think, for a lot of people. Lots of employers um, provide as benefits package um, a way to get some assistance for everything from caregiving to insurance to child care, pet care, you name it. They've got someone who can who can tell you about that and they employ social workers um, and I'm biased, but I'm a big fan of employing social workers. Uh, and so Liz is going to talk to us um, about um, the benefits and the advantages of using your employer assistance program. Um, she works for an employer assistance program. She's not coming to sell anything or anything like that. She's just coming to tell us about how it's a good idea to talk to the employer assistance program that might be connected with your or your partners or your parents or somebody that you're close to. Um, and how to take advantage of those resources that are so available to you. That's one thing we really love to do on the weekly webinar is make sure you know um, what is available to you. So that will be next Thursday, March 7th. We'll have some more details in the uh, My Alliance newsletter and on the website, uh, and we'll hope you will be able to join us. So with that, the chime just said it's 2.30. So Jill, again, thank you very much for being with us. Um, Turning Point is a very great program. I agree with Cheryl in the chat. Um, we are so happy to have the information um, and feel free to take a look and um, sign up for some great stuff with Jill. All right. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.